Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. I thought for sure that baby would be here by now, but it's not. Okay. Things are happening. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. y'all and welcome back welcome to another video i just stepped outside it is so nice out here i'm gonna talk to you for just a little bit plan on doing a home update for you the kids are out here playing i may try to pass this little guy <laughs> off to somebody and uh, sit down and talk to you for just a minute all right let's see if i can sit here and talk to you for just a minute the kids are playing with white we'll see how long it lasts so Welcome to another home update. It has been, it's been over a month since I've done one of these. If you're new, I'm Tiffany. This is our small town life. We are in the process of buying a double wide mobile home, putting it on a little bit of land that we have, starting our own one acre homestead, living a more self-sustaining lifestyle. And we're sharing all of that with you here on this channel. We upload five days a week, Monday through Friday, and we would love to have you come along and be a part of this journey with us. So why have I not done an update in a month? Well, y'all, there was not much to update on. The wind's gonna blow. It's trying to get out of the wind a little bit. So why have I not done an update in over a month? Well, y'all, there wasn't anything to update on. And that was causing my stress and my anxiety over the whole situation to uh, get pretty bad. <laughs> and I was going to sit down and talk to y'all because y'all are, are my friends. <laughs> I was going to verbalize the, my emotions and the way I was feeling over this, whether we had anything to update on or not, but we got something to update you on. So, so I'm going to go over that. But for the longest, there was nothing. And honestly, so I guess it was about six weeks ago, where we were at was we were waiting on the bank and it was going to take about two to three weeks to have what we needed from them. And that was around the time that my grandmother passed away and then Thanksgiving. And, um, I just, I wasn't really thinking about it. And so when the time frame came and went, I didn't think much of it till a few weeks later. And then I was like, I haven't heard from them in a while. And then I started trying to reach out to them and couldn't get them. They wouldn't answer emails, phone calls, text messages, anything. And that really started to give me some serious anxiety over the whole situation. And I, we have been blessed to be with my mother-in-law uh, since we moved out of our rental home the last couple of months. We, we get along great. We love being here. We're glad to have this time with her. But I am so ready to have my own space again, to have my own kitchen, to have my, my bedroom. We're currently in Justin's old bedroom and... Those four walls, they're closing in on me, y'all. Well, I'm so grateful to be here. I'm so ready to have my own space. And when I couldn't get any information, it was like it felt in that moment like we were never going to be in our own home again. I knew we would, but that's how it felt. And it was giving me a lot of stress and anxiety. We were planning. I was trying to work it out so Justin and I could go together to talk to him face to face. Because I'm like, if, you, if you're standing here in front of me, you got to give me some kind of information, right? So that was the plan and we were going to be going to meet up with them, uh, go up to the dealership and just see if we could talk to somebody. And then Justin got an email asking about um, what insurance we had decided to go with. And he was like, while I have somebody on, it was an email, while I have somebody that's talking to me, tell me what's going on. Give me an update. You know, where, where are we at? Where do we stand? And I'm like, well, as soon as we get this back, from the bank as soon as we give them this information they should have the closing documents ready for us and we should be closing soon um within a week and that was the end was that the end of last week i guess and then they did get those documents to us uh which it was like i just felt so much better about it from literally one second to the next when he said they actually gave him some information because it was like okay things are happening it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay and then they called, I'm going to go back up here and sit down. Then they called yesterday and wanted to close this coming up Friday. And uh, Justin was like, well, if you've watched my vlogs lately, then you know. But he was like, well, we're quarantined right now. I can't really do that. And so we're supposed to call them back the beginning of next week and set up that closing date. 
<sighs> and that that makes that makes me happy y'all makes me happy um, as soon as we do that now I've never bought a mobile home before and so I don't know exactly what the whole process is but to the best of my knowledge and I've got a lot of questions to ask but to the best of my knowledge once we close then they'll actually start working on our home putting in the flooring that we chose the cabinets we chose the finishes we chose the upgrades that we went with and and doing all that for us and getting all that ready for us I've been cautiously hopeful and cautiously optimistic through this whole process because originally I thought and I was trying to uh, not get my hopes up too much but originally I thought that we would probably be in our home by Christmas that did not happen <laughs> that did not happen uh, so now I'm hoping like Valentine's Day realistically like I really really want to be in it by Easton's birthday at the beginning of March and they're telling us after we close about six weeks <laughs> They're two to three weeks turned into about six or seven weeks. So I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But I do feel a lot better because I was, it was getting pretty bad. I had some days where I told Justin, I was like, we've got to do something else. We're just going to have to do something else. I can't. And it's not, like I said, it's not that I don't enjoy being here. I do. I'm just so ready for my own space again. And if you've ever done this before, lived with family members or you understand where I'm coming from. I'm I'm so grateful, but I'm also so ready to have my own space. So that's a little bit of an update for you. I wanted to sit down to that because several people had asked, what's going on? When do y'all plan to be in your home? Are you still getting your mobile home? You know, what, what are what are y'all doing? What's going on? And uh, for a while, I didn't have anything to tell. And <laughs> now I do. Like I said, I was going to sit down and talk to y'all either way because y'all are my friends. I needed to just get out how I was feeling. So there's a home update for you. As soon as we close, uh, we've had the perk test and everything done. As soon as we close, we'll get the septic tank installed, start working on getting the water meter put in and the water line run. So there's a lot that's going to be happening in the next few weeks. So excited about it. So excited to share it with you. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully within, I'm going to say, I'm going to say six weeks. <laughs> we'll be in our home, but we'll just have to take it one day at a time. I would also like to go ahead and start working on it got really bright again. <laughs> I would also like to go ahead and start working on our chicken coop. My mother, if you've been around here, then you know. If not, I'm going to link um, some playlist, a playlist. I think it's called Moving Vlogs down in the description box so you can get caught up. But my mother is going to be right next door and uh, she already has some of the stuff for us to start working on a chicken coop. So I think we're going to be tackling that soon. I'm excited about what the future holds. I'm excited about what this year holds. We're coming into 2022 and uh, hopefully at the end of the year, I look back on this, I look back on this video and I'm like, wow, look at where we've come this year. And I hope that you all join us and stay with us and come along on this journey with us. We're going to share it all, share this life we live. <laughs> if you're not already subscribed, hit that button, join us. Like I said, we're going to share this whole process with you. Um, our journey to living a more self-sustaining lifestyle, um, a journey getting into our new home, sharing, raising my family with you, and just day-to-day -day life. That, that's what we do around here. We show you what real life, living in a small town in the southern United States, <laughs> looks like. We love you guys. We appreciate you, and we sincerely appreciate how much you care about our family and the fact that you invest in our family. I was going through some comments and reading them last night, and it just blessed my heart um, that you genuinely care about us and that you're excited to go along on this journey with us. We love you guys. We appreciate you more than words. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all. I'm gonna go get this baby. Sissy's got him up on a hay bale. <laughs> hey baby. Oh, he looked away. Oh, you know he got it and he looked at the way. <laughs> Wyatt. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Also, if you're following the the baby watch, waiting on a calf. Calf is still not here. Audrey's out here now looking, counting, and seeing if she can find the one that we think is going to have the baby first. We thought for sure that baby would be here by now, but it's not. We're still waiting. <laughs>